much. Thank you, you Mike. What much? So please, let's clear the passage. Okay, let's clear the passage for for chair. Yeah, if you are coming from show, you have to send somebody to come and set up. This is already arranged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Gushi, I'm Sassi Barton, yes, ladies and gentlemen. May I announce the arrival of the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Why is, why is, uh, ably represented. By the Honorable huh? Why is the Defense, commentator? Why is that? Yeah? 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 No, no, not to me. I'm talking about the person talking. Why is, who is running the commission? Uh, I don't know. It's going to to this program. Please clear the frontage. recognize the presence of the Chief of Staff to the President, His Excellency Ambassador Ibrahim Gambari. You're welcome, sir. Come here again now. Sorry, huh? Let me fix it for you. What's up? Okay. Your Excellency, go, 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 Mr. Go. President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari. Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, ably represented by the Honorable Minister of Defense, Major General Bashir Salihi Magashi retired, Your Excellency, the President of the Senate, Distinguished Senator Ahmad Lawan, the Speaker, House of Representatives, Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, 
ably represented by the Chairman, House Committee on Army, Honorable Abdurazak Namdas, distinguished senators of the Federal Republic, and honorable members of the House of Representatives here present. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Honorable Minister of Information and Culture, other members of the Federal Executive and Judicial Arms of Government here present, the Secretary to the Government of Federation, the Chief of Staff to the President, Ambassador Ibrahim Gambari, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Irabo, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Ezid Gambo, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal I.O. Amao, former service chiefs here present, the Inspector General of Police, and heads of other paramilitary agencies, Honorable Speaker, Kaduna State House of Assembly, the Chief of Policy and Plans Army, principal staff officers from Defense, Police, and Services Headquarters here present, Commanders and commandants of various military members of the diplomatic corps, captains of industry, the president, defense and police officers' wives association of Ni uh, in Nigeria, the national president, Nigerian army officers' wives association, Mrs. Fati Atahiru, another national president of sister services. Associations here present, our royal fathers, spouses, and family members of the deceased senior officers, senior non commissioned officers, and airmen, senior officers both serving and retired, particularly members of the 35th regular course, distinguished invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed with heavy heart that on behalf of the officers, men as well as airmen and women of the Nigerian Army and the Nigerian Air Force, that I welcome you one and all to the National Military Cemetery for the funeral, final rites, and interment in honor of our highly revered Chief of Army Staff, the 21st Chief of Army Staff of the Nigerian Army, late... I take that again. I welcome you one and all to the National Military Cemetery for the final funeral rites and interment in honor of our highly revered Chief of Army Staff, the 21st Chief of Army Staff of the Nigerian Army, late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Matairu, and 10 others whom we lost in the air mishap that occurred at Kaduna International Airport yesterday. Today, we are all gathered here to pay our last respect to these national heroes who paid the supreme price in the service of our fatherland. I must say that they died with their boots on. I am Colonel N.I. Abdullahi. I will be the anchor of this solemn event, and I will be assisted by Flight Lieutenant U.V. Eden. Without taking much of your time, May I recognize the presence of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation and go ahead to commence the program by calling the Beria Party to marching. The Beria Party, please.
This is the route. They'll follow. See, I beg. See, I beg. This is the route. Ah, I don't say. Come here Your Excellency, distinguished but
Will you please be seated? At this point, we expect absolute silence. Please. Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, may I respectfully invite the Chief of Policy and Plans Army to read the funeral oration of the late Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Policy and Plans, sir. Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Funeral Revolution of Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahir. The late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahir was born on the 10th of August, 1966 at Doka, Kaduna, and hailed from Kaduna North Local Government Area of Kaduna State. He attended his primary education in the lo local uh, education agency in Kaduna Company Commanders Course Infantry and the National Defense uh, Course at Kenya. The late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atayu proved himself as a professional soldier and earned his promotion to Platoon Commander Depot Nigerian Army, Instructor Nigerian Defense Academy, Instructor Inf Infantry Center and School, Staff Officer 13 Brigade, Military Observer at the OAU, the, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Staff Officer Grade 1, Headquarters 1 Mechanized Brigade, General Staff Officer Grade 1, Headquarters 1 Division. Others are Commanding Officer 146 Battalion, General Staff Officer Grade 1, Headquarters 81 Division, Directing Staff at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, General Staff Officer Grade 1, Headquarters 2 Division, Commander 3 Brigade Garrison, Chief Instructor, Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Deputy Director, Military, Army Headquarters, Sec uh, Military Secretary, Director, Army Public Relations, AHQ, Director of Commander, Headquarters, 13 Brigade. He was also General Officer Commanding, Headquarters, 82 Division, and Director of Administration Defense Headquarters. He also was a Theater Commander at the Headquarters Theater Command, Operation Laf Zaman in Lafia, Deputy Chief of Policy and Plan, Army Headquarters, Chief of Defense Logistics, Defense Headquarters, Chief of Doctrine and Combat Development, Headquarters Training and Doctrine Command. His final appointment was the Chief of Army Staff at the Office of the Chief of Army Staff, Nigerian Army. Late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atiru was articulated, dedicated, loyal, and hardworking officer. He was a calm, firm, but fair officer with a good sense of purpose and responsibility. He was a forthright general and a professional infantry officer who genuinely committed, who was genuinely committed to duties. In recognition of his meritorious service to the nation, late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Ataru was honored with the following medals: Forces Service Star, Meritorious Service Star, Distinguished Service Star, General Service Star, Past Staff College Dagger, Operation Harmony Medal, Silver Jubilee Medal, Golden Jubilee Medal. Economic Community of West African State Monitoring Group Medal, United Nations Medal, Command Medal, Field Command Medal, Command Medal of Honor, General Staff Officer, General Service Medal of Honor, Nigerian Army Medal. It is said that from dust we come and un unto dust we shall return. Late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru has bowed to Mother Earth. His death is a great loss to his family, the Nigerian Army, and indeed the nation in general. We love you, but God loves you the most. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here lies the remains of Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, a gallant professional soldier, a worthy son of Nigeria, an approachable senior officer who respected and cared for others. He always had the desire to add value to wherever he, t he, he touched, wherever he served, and he li lived on friendly and sympathetic uh, terms with his colleagues and has always willing to help others. He was a caref caring husband, loving father, and a great friend to so many, especially me. 
late Lieutenant General Atahiru Adios. May your gentle soul rest in peace. Amen. Thank you. Your Excellency, Mr. President, may I have the singular honor and privilege to request Mr. President to please come forward and present the national flag to the nest of kin of late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru. Mr. President, sir. May I please request the nest of kin to the late Chief of Army Staff to come forward for the collection of the national flag. May I at this time invite the Imam and the Paul Bearers for the lowering of the body. Thank you. 
Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the special request from the family members and the chief imam is that we will do the prayers and the lowering of the bodies will be done after. Thank you. And we would like to respect that. Thank you very much, sir. Auzi billahi samiyal alim, bismillahi rahmanu rahim. Tabaraka alladhi bi yadihi al-mulku wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Alladhi khalaka al-mawta wa al-hayat al-yabulukum ayyukum ahsanu amla. Wa huwa al-azizu al-gafur. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi al-rajoon. Allahumma agifir lahum wa arhamuhum. وعافهم وعافه عنهم وأكرم نزلهم ووسم دخلهم وقسلهم من الماء والثلج والبرد ونقيهم من الذنوب والحضايا كما ينقذ بالأبيض من الدنس حتى يكونوا في بطون القبور متبينين وإن دقيا من الأشهاد آمنين وإلى أعلى جنتك سابقين اللهم اجعل قبورهم رياضا من رياض الجنة ولا تجعلها هفرا من هفر النار يا رب العالمين. Let us recite Fatiha and قل هو الله seven times. May Allah forgive them and have mercy upon them. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم. مالك يوم الدين. يا كنا عبد الله يا كنا سبحان الله يا سرعة المستقيم. صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين قل هو الله احد الله والسمع لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا قل هو الله احد الله والسمع لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا قل هو الله احد الله والسمع لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا قل هو الله احد الله لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا قل هو الله احد الله والسمع لم يلد ولم يولد قل هو الله احد الله والسمع لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد اللهم هؤلاء عبادك أنت خلقتهم ورزقتهم وأنت عالم بسرهم وعلانيتهم جينا كشفاء لهم وشفينا فيهم اللهم لا تحرمنا أجرهم اللهم يسر لنا كل ما تعسر علينا بتيسيرك ولا تعسر علينا يا ميسر كل عسير اللهم أنت السلام ومنك السلام فإن ربنا بيسلم ودخلنا لجنة دار السلام تبارك ربنا وتعاليت يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم اغفر لجميع المسلمين والمسلمين والمؤمنين والمؤمنين على حياة منه والأموات إنك سميع قريب بجيب الدعوات اللهم أمرتنا بدعائك وأمرتنا بدعائك وأعطنا بإجابتك اللهم إنا دعوناك فاستجب لنا اللهم إنك قلت وقولك الحق وإذا سألك إبادي عني فإني قريب أجيب الدعوة الداء إذا دعاني اللهم إنا دعوناك فاستجب لنا اللهم إنا دعوناك فاستجب لنا اللهم إنا دعوناك فاستجب لنا سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Thank you very much the Director of Islamic Affairs Nigerian Army At this point it is my honor and privilege to request Your Excellency and distinguished invited guests to please rise as we observe a moment of silence.
May the soul of the departed rest in perfect peace. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you, sir. Next is the Rivier. At this point, once it, is start, once it starts, I will also request that we all stand. Commission officers, and retired officers in uniform, as well as warrant officers in uniform, are to please salute. The Rivier, please. May we please rise? May you please be seated, please.
Mr. President, Your Excellency, distinguished invited guests, at this point, the poll bearers are going to march in the remaining bodies. Thank you, sir. You want to broadcast of the staff and 10 others who lost their lives on the 21st of May. The ceremony is holding at the National Military Cemetery in Abuja. In attendance are the Minister of Defense, who is representing the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as well as the President of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, who the Governor of Kaduna State is also in attendance. So also our Senators. Also the Governor of Zamfara State is present, the Chief of Defense. The lowering of the casket. And just before that, you had witnessed the Reveille and the graveside doxology, as well as presentation of national colors to the family by the Honorable Minister of Defense. Your Excellency. Permit me to recognize the representative of the wife of the President of the Federal Republic, as well as the Minister of Women Affairs, then Pauline Stalin. You're welcome. Now. Your Excellency, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, at this point we expect the arrival of the bodies of late Brigadier General Boy El Olainka, the Provost Marshal of the Nigerian Army, late Brigadier General A.U. Kulia, the Acting Chief of Military Intelligence for the Army, Brigadier General M.I. Abdul Qadir, who is the Chief of Staff to General Ibrahim Atayru, Major Nura Hamza, who is the Acting Deputy Director in charge of Finance to the Office of the Chief of Army Staff, Major Lawal Hayat, who is the Aide de Camp to the Chief of Army Staff, Flight Lieutenant T.O. Ashani, who was the captain of the ill-fated flight. Flight Lieutenant A.A. Olufade, who was the co-pilot on board. Sergeant O. Adeshina, and aircraft man O.M. Oyedepo, were members of the crew of that flight. And Sergeant Umar was the oddly to the late Chief of Army Staff. It is worthy of note that all these fine gentlemen win prize in the service of the land. And like I said earlier, they all died with their boots on, which is the hero's way. It is indeed a sad day, knowing that we are losing some of our best. But we take solace in the fact that we know that their legacies live on forever. Thank you.
I swear. I swear. What? You're watching the live broadcast of the interment ceremony of the late Chief of Army Staff and 10 others holding at the National Military Cemetery here in Abuja. Apart from the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahu, the others who are being buried here today include the Brigadier General Emma Abu Kadir, who is the Chief of Staff to the Army Chief. Brigadier General Lainka, the Acting Provost Marshal of the Nigerian Army. Brigadier General Kulia, the Acting Chief of Military Intelligence. Major L. A. Hayat, the ADC to the Chief of Army Staff. Major Hamza, the Chief Security Officer to the Chief of Army Staff. Sergeant Umar Audley to the late Chief of Army Staff, as well as the aircraft crew, Flight Lieutenant Asani, Flight Lieutenant Ulufate. Sergeant Additional and ACM OE Depot. There are just about three more items left to wrap up the ceremony. Lowering of a casket, the wreath laying, firing of the volley, and then finally the last posts. I want to check the mic. Can you hear me? The, the one on the speaker. Which one? Our, okay, our source.
place from there. That is wrong. They are matching with Lagos, I can hear you guys. Hello? Hello? Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, may we please rise at this point as the burial party arrives. Okay. 
in there, Louis. Uh, You may please be seated as well. Yeah, 
Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, may I humbly request Brigadier General J.H. Abdusalam to read through the funeral oration of the generals. Brigadier General Abdusalam, sir. Mr. President, distinguished invited guests, funeral oration of late Brigadier General Abdurrahman Umar Kulia. Late Brigadier General Abdurrahman Umar Kulia was born on 2nd February 1968 in Kano and hailed from Kanu Municipal Local Government Area of Kanu State. He attended the Science Secondary School Dawa Kudu from 1983 to 1986, where he obtained the General Certificate of Examination. Subsequently, he gained admission into the Nigerian Defense Academy in 1988 and was granted regular combatant commission on 25th September 1993 as a member of 40th Regular Course in the rank of Second Lieutenant. He was of the Nigerian Army Intelligence Corps and rose to the rank of Brigadier General on 10th October 2017 before his demise on 21st May 2021. The late senior officer attended several courses and performed creatively. The courses included, among others, Young Officers Course Intelligence, Tactical Intelligence Officers Course, Junior and Senior Staff course at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College and the National Defense course at the National Defense University, United States of America. General Kulia held a Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics, Master's degree in National Resource Strategy as well as Strategy and Security Administration. 
let General Kulia prove himself as a professional soldier and end his promotions as follows. Lieutenant, 10th September 1993. Captain, 10th September 1997. Major, 10th September 2001. Lieutenant Colonel, 10th September 2006. Colonel, 10th September 2011 and Brigadier General, 10th September 2017. The late senior officer also held several command staff and instructional appointments, among which were platoon commander at the headquarters Nigerian Army Intelligence Corps, officer in charge at 92 Intelligence Detachment, officer commanding one Intelligence Detachment, second in command, one Division Intelligence Group, directing staff at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Commandant, Headquarters, Nigerian Army Intelligence Corps, Deputy Director, Defense Intelligence Agency, Commander, 3 Division Intelligence Command, Coordinator, Theater Intelligence Command at the Headquarters, Theater Command Operation Lafia Dole, Director, Department of Land Warfare at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, and Chief of Military Intelligence, Headquarters, Nigerian Army Intelligence Corps. Mr. President, sir, late Brigadier General Abdurrahman Umar Kulia was an articulate, dedicated, loyal, and hardworking senior officer. He was a calm, firm, but fair officer with a good sense of purpose and responsibility. He was a forthright gentleman and a professional intelligence officer who was a genuinely committed to his duties. He had a remarkable conduct and overwhelming moral standards. In recognition of his meritorious service to the nation, he was honored with the following awards and medals. Forces Service Star, Meritorious Service Star, Distinguished Service Star, Past Staff Course Dagger, Golden Jubilee Medal, Silver Jubilee Medal, General Operations Medal, Field, Field Command Medal of Honor, Co Medal of Honor, It is said that from dust we come and to dust we shall return. Let General Abdurrahman Kulia has answered the call of his creator. His death is a great loss to, this, to his family, to the Nigerian army, and the, and the nation in general. We love him, but God loves him more. Mr. President, sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here lies on this day, 22nd May 2021, the body of late Brigadier Abraham Kulia, a gallant professional soldier, a gentleman officer, and a worthy son of Nigeria, a caring husband, a loving father, and a true friend. Late General Kulia, May gentle so rest in perfect peace. Sorry. Funeral oration for late Brigadier General Ola Tunji Lukman Ola Inka. Mr. President, distinguished guest, late Brigadier General Ola Tunji Lukman Ola Inka was born on 13th January 1970 in Lagos and held from Ikorodu local government area of Lagos State. He attended the Nigerian military school from 1982 to 1987, where he obtained his West African Examination Council certificate. He was granted regular combatant commission as a member of 48th regular course on 17th September 1994 in the rank of second lieutenant with seniority on the rank effective 11th September 1988. He was of the Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police and rose to the rank of Brigadier General on 10th September 2017 before his demise on 21st May 2021. The late senior officer attended some courses while in the service and performed creditably. The courses include Young Officers Course, Infantry, and Tank Platoon Commanders Course, Junior staff and junior staff course and senior staff course at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Defense Management course, 
United Nations Military Observers Course and National Defense Course. Late Brigadier General Olatunji Lukman Olainka proved himself as a professional soldier and end his profession as follows. Lieutenant, 10 September 1993. Captain, 10 September 1997. Major, 10 September 2001. Lieutenant Colonel, 10 September 2006. Colonel, 10 September 2011. And Brigadier General on 10 September 2017. The late senior officer held com several command Instructional and staff appointments as follows. Platoon Commander at Headquarters 7 Brigade. Company Second in Command, Headquarters Nigerian Army Military Police. Aide de Camp to the General Officer Commanding 3 Division Nigerian Army. Officer Commanding, Ministry of Defense Provost Group. General Staff Officer Grade 2, Headquarters Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police. Directing Staff at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Yaji and directing staff at the Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College. He was Commandant Headquarters Nigeria Army School of Military Police, directing staff at the National Defense College, and he was the Provost Marshal Nigerian Army Headquarters Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police. Late Brigadier General Olatunji Lukman Olainka was an articulate, dedicated, loyal, and hardworking officer. He was calm, firm, but fair officer with a good sense of purpose and responsibility. He was a forthright gentleman and a professional military police officer who was genuinely committed to his duties. A recognition of his meritorious service to the nation, late General Olainka was honored with the following medals, Distinguished Service Star, Meritorious Service Star, Forces Service Star, Golden Jubilee Medal, Silver Jubilee Medal, River Benue Star, Fellow Defense College Dagger, Past Staff Course Dagger, United Nations Operations Medal, Command Medal, General Operations Medal, and Corps Medal of Honor. It is said that from dust we come and unto dust we shall return. Late General Olayinka Lukman has bowed to Mother Earth. His death is a great loss to his family, the Nigerian Army, and indeed the nation in general. We love you, but God loves you more. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here lies on this day, 22nd May 2021, the body of late Brigadier General Olatunji Lukman Olainka, a gallant professional soldier and a worthy son of Nigeria, a caring husband and a loving father. Late Brigadier General Olatunji Lukman Olainka, adieu. May your gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Funeral oration. Late Brigadier General Muhammad Idris Abdul Qadir. Late Brigadier General Muhammad Idris Abdul Qadir was born on 19th April 1971 in Kaduna and held from Agaye local government area of Niger State. He was granted regular combatant commission as a member of 42nd Regular Corps on 16th September 1995 in the rank of second lieutenant with seniority on the same rank, effective 17th August 1990. He was of the Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police and rose to the rank of Brigadier General on 17th August 2017 before his demise on 21st May 2021. The late senior officer attended many courses while in service and performed creditably. Courses include basic airborne course, police administration and security management course, junior and senior staff course, national defense course in Bangladesh, among others. The late Brigadier General Mohammed Idris Abdelkader proved himself as a professional soldier and earned his promotion as at Wendu. The late senior officer held several command and instructional and staff appointments as follows. Platoon Commander 82 Provost Company Inugu, Instructor Headquarters Nigerian Army School of Military Police, Platoon Commander 81 Provost Group Lagos, Officer Commanding 13 Brigade Provost Company Calabar, Adjutant, Nigerian Defense Academy, Commander, 82 Provost Group Inugu, Deputy Director Training, Army Headquarters Department of Training and Operations, and finally, Chief of Staff to the Chief of Army Staff, Army Headquarters. Late Brigadier General Mohammed Idris Abdelkader was an articulate, dedicated, loyal, and hardworking officer. He was a calm, firm, but fair officer with good sense of purpose and responsibility. 
He was a forthright gentleman and a professional military officer who was genuinely committed to his duties. In recognition of his meritorious service to the nation, late General Bukadri was honored with the following medals. Distinguished Service Star, Meritorious Service Star, Forces Service Star, Golden Jubilee Medal, Silver Jubilee Medal, River Benway Star, National Defense College Bangladesh, Past Staff Course, United Nations Operations Medal, Command Medal, and General Operations Medal. It is said that from dust we come and unto dust we shall return. Late General Abdul Qadir has bowed to Mother Earth. His death is a great loss to his family, the Nigerian army, and indeed the nation in general. We love you, but God loves you most. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here lies on this day, 22nd May 2021, the body of late Brigadier General Mohammed Idris Abdul Qadir, a gallant professional soldier and a worthy son of Nigeria, a caring husband and a loving father. Late General Abdul Qadir, adieu. May your gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Thank you. Amen. May I now call on Colonel A.S. Saleh to read the oration of the two majors and the senior non-commissioned officer. Colonel Saleh, please. Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Funeral oration, late Major Nura Hamza. Late Major Nura Hamza was born on the 20th of November 1979 in Kanu and hailed from Busau local government area of Zampara State. He attended the Bayero University, Kanu, from 1999 to 2003, where he obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics. He was later granted Director Service Commission as a member of Director Service Course 14 on the 2nd of December 2006 in the rank of Lieutenant. He was of the Nigerian Army Finance Corps and rose to the rank of Major on the 2nd of December 2015 before his demise on the 21st of May 2021. The late retired senior officer attended some courses where he performed creditably. These include Account Inspector's course, Information Communication Technology Management course, amongst others. He also held the Bachelor of Science degree in Economics, Master in Economics, Master of Business Administration in Finance, Postgraduate Diploma, and Diploma in Computer Science. He is an associate member of the following, Association of Chartered System Accountants in the United States of America, Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, amongst others. Late Major Nura Hamza proved himself as a professional soldier and earned his promotions as follows. He was promoted to rank of captain on the 2nd of February 2011 and to the rank of major on the 2nd of December 2015. The late senior officer also held several staff appointments which include but not limited to the following. Military Assistant, Office of the Chief of Army Staff, Directorate of Audit. Military Assistant, Nigerian Army Post Housing Limited. Administrative Officer, Nigerian Army School of Finance and Accounts. Acting Assistant Director, Sapas Engineering, Nigeria Limited. Acting Staff Officer, Grade 1 Finance, Armed Forces Command and Staff College. And Acting Deputy Director of Finance at the Office of the Chief of Army Staff. Late Major Nura Hamza was an articulate, dedicated, loyal, and hardworking senior officer. In recognition of his meritorious service to the nation, he was honored with the Forces Service Star and the Golden Jubilee Medal. It is said that from dust we come, and unto dust we shall return. Late Major Nura Hamza has bowed to Mother Earth. His death is a great loss to his family, the Nigerian army, and the nation in general. We love you, but God loves you most. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here lies on this day, 22nd of May, 2021, the body of late Major Nura Hamza, a gallant professional soldier, a gentleman officer and worthy son of Nigeria, a caring husband and loving father. Late Major Nura Hamza, may your gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Funeral oration, late Major Lawal Aliyu Hayat. 
Late Major Lawal Aliyu Hayat was born on the 11th of April 1985 in Kaduna and hailed from Zaria local government area of Kaduna State. He was granted regular combatant commission as a member of 56 regular course on the 4th of October 2008 in the rank of second lieutenant. He was of the Nigerian Army Infantry Corps and rose to the rank of major on 27 September 2017 before his demise on the 21st of May 2021. The late senior officer attended several courses and performed creditably. This include, but not limited to the following, young officers course infantry and the junior course. He also held the Bachelor of Science degree in economics and accounting. Late Major Lawal Aliu Hayat proved himself as a professional soldier and earned his promotions as follows. Promoted to the rank of Lieutenant on the 27th of September 2009, Captain 27th September 2013, and rank of major 27 September 2017. The late senior officer also held several command, staff, and instructional appointments, which include, but not limited to the following, platoon commander at the headquarters infantry corps center, company second in command at five battalion, instructor Nigerian Army School of Infantry, aide de camp to the chief of army staff at the office of the chief of army staff. Late Major Lowell Aliu Hayat was an articulate, dedicated, loyal, and hardworking senior officer. He was a calm, firm but fair officer with a good sense of purpose and responsibility. He had a remarkable conduct and overwhelming moral standard. It is said that from dust we come and to dust we shall return. Late Major Lowell Aliu Hayat has bowed to Mother Earth. His death is a great loss to his family, the Nigerian army, and the nation in general. We love you, but God loves you most. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here lies on this day, 22nd of May 2021, the body of late Major Lawal Aliu Hayat, a gallant professional soldier, a gentleman officer, and worthy son of Nigeria, a caring husband and loving father. Late Major Lawal Aliu Hayat, adieu. May your gentle soul rest in perfect peace. May I call on Flight Lieutenant UV Adam to read for the Air Force officers. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am Flight Lieutenant Uber Victor Eden. Citation of late Flight Lieutenant A.A. A. Olufade. Late Flight Lieutenant Alfred Ayode Deji Olufade was born on 19 February 1992 in Suleja. He hailed from the Jumu local government area of Kogi State. He was enlisted into the Nigerian Air Force as a member of Nigerian Defense Academy, regular course 61, on 15 August 2009, and commissioned a pilot officer on 13 September 2014. He was promoted to the rank of flight lieutenant on 15 August 2019. He had a Bachelor of Science degree in accounting from the Nigerian Defense Academy. Flight and Olufade had attended several courses, some of which are Basic Flying Training at 403 Flying Training School, Kano. King Air Aircraft Simulator Training at United Air Arab Emirates. King Air Aircraft Recurrent Training also at United Arab Emirates. Until his demise, he was serving as a squadron pilot at 307 Executive Airlift Group, Abuja. The late flight lieutenant was married. He loved playing football and volleyball. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Citation of Flight Lieutenant T.O. Ashani. Let's Flight Lieutenant Taiwo Olufemi Ashani he was born on 25 February 1992 in Ibadan. He hailed from Onara, local government area of Oyo State. He was enlisted into the Nigerian Air Force as a member of Nigerian Defense Academy, regular course 62 on 14 August 2010, and commissioned a pilot officer on 12 September 2015. He was promoted to the rank of flight lieutenant on 14 August 2020. He had a Bachelor of Science degree in Biological Sciences from the Nigerian Defense Academy. Late flight Nashani had attended several courses, with some of which are flying training at Aviation Training Resources, United Kingdom, Initial Type Rating Simulator Training for King Air 350, United States of America, King Air Aircraft Recurrency Simulator Training, at United Arab Emirates, Falcon 7X initial simulator training also at United Arab Emirates. Until his demise, 
He was serving as a squadron pilot at 307 Executive Airlift Group, Abuja, and he was attached to the Directorate of Training Headquarters, Nigerian Air Force. The late flight lieutenant was married and loved singing, reading, and running. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Funeral oration, late Sergeant Umar Saidu. Late Sergeant Umar Saidu was born on the 11th of December 1985 in Das local government area of Bauchi State. He enlisted into the Nigerian Army on the 28th of February 2006. After passing out from the Depot Nigerian Army, late Sergeant Umar was posted to the Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police. He was promoted to the rank of Sergeant in 2017 before his demise on the 21st of May 2021. The late soldier attended all the courses commensurate to his course, to his rank, sorry, including the military police upgrading course B1 in 2016. Late Sergeant Omar Saidu proved himself as a professional soldier and earned his promotions as a twin due. He was promoted to the rank of sergeant in 2017. Late Sergeant Omar, while in service, served in the following units. Defense Headquarters Department of Defense Transformation and Innovation as orderly to the Chief of Defense Training and Innovations. Headquarters Training and Doctrine Command as orderly to the Chief of Doctrine and Combat Development, as well as Army Headquarters Office of the Chief of Army Staff as orderly to the Chief of Army Staff. Late Sergeant Omar Saidu was a dedicated, loyal, and hardworking soldier. His death is a great loss to his family, the Nigerian Army, and the nation in general. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here lies on this day, 22nd May 2021, the body of late Sergeant Umar Saidu, a gallant and professional soldier, a worthy son of Nigeria, a caring husband and a loving father. Late Sergeant Umar Saidu, may your gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Citation of late Sergeant Addition of Bayami Isaiah. Late Sergeant Adeshin of Kwayemi Isaiah was born on 9 April 1989 in Kaduna State. He was recruited into the Nigerian Air Force on 2nd of November 2012 as a tradesman and granted initial rank of corporal. He was mustered as a cabin crew into the Nigerian Air Force and attended emergency response training for cabin crew at 011 Presidential Air Fleet and cabin crew refresher training course at Aero Keys Limited, Abuja. On completion of his basic military training, at the Military Training Center, Kaduna. Late Sergeant Adesino was posted to 307 Executive Airlift Group, Abuja, and later to 303 Medium Airlift Group, Ilori, in 2017. The late airman was promoted to the rank of Corporal on the 2nd of November 2012, and later promoted to the rank of Sergeant in September 2016. Late Adesino was obedient, disciplined, and dedicated to his job. He was married to Mrs. Funke Gift, Omoshen. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Citation of late aircraft man Oyede Olamide Matthew. Late aircraft man Oyede Olamide Matthew was born on 20th March 1998 at Obaik in Oshu State. He was recruited into the Nigerian Air Force as a non tradesman and was later granted initial rank of aircraft man as aircraft technician. After completion of his basic military training at the Military Training Center, Kaduna, he was posted to 203 Intelligence Surveillance and Recognizance Group, Yola. Thereafter, he was posted to 307 Executive Airlift Group, Abuja, where he was serving before his death. The airman was nominated to attend basic aircraft maintenance course for a period of six months and was later mustered on trade level three. The late aircraft man, Oyeko, was obedient, disciplined, and dedicated to his job. He was single. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. Your Excellency, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I am honored to invite the next of kings to please come and line forward as we present the national flags to them. The next of kings, please.
RSM, let's have the flags. First to receive is the next of kin to Brigadier General O.L. Olayenka. May I once again request the pleasure of His Excellency, Mr. President, to do this presentation on our behalf, Mr. President, sir. Next is the next of kin to Brigadier General Abdurrahman Kulia. Next to receive is the next of king to Brigadier General M. I. Abdul Qadir. Next is the nest of king of Major N. Hamza. Next is Major L.A. Hayat. Next of kin to Flight Lieutenant T.O. Asani.
Next is the next of kin to Flight Lieutenant A. A. Olufade. Next is the nest of kin to Sergeant O. Adeshina. Next is the next of kin to Sergeant Umar Saidu. And finally, the next of kin to aircraftman O.M. Oyedepo. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. May I request at this point that we all rise for a moment of silence, please. May the gentle souls of the departed rest in perfect peace. Amen. Please be seated. Next on the program is the revive. RSM, please carry on. May we please rise?
Uh, please be seated. At this point, may I humbly and most respectfully invite the Imam and the chaplain to conduct the interment at the gravesite. The Imam and the chaplain, please. For this ceremony, I will request representatives of family members, preferably closest ones, so that we can avoid crowding the area, to please join at the gravesite for the interment. Thank you. I'm at the center, they, they want to do prayers. In front, where these speakers are. Your Excellency, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, for the family members, after the ceremony, we will give you some moment to stay around for those that may not be able to be by the graveside at this moment to pay their last respect to their loved ones. Your Excellency, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, once again, the family members, uh, we are going to give you some time at the end of the whole ceremony 
to go to the graveside and pay respect to your loved ones. At this moment, I will request the chaplain and the imam to please round up the prayer session at this moment so that we all return back, our, back to our seats for the next item. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Imam and the uh, chaplain, for this um, uh, aspect. May we please uh, return back to our seats so that we can quickly move to the next item on the program. Please let us return back to our seats so that we get the message of the Chief of Defense Staff and thereafter the message from Mr. President. Like I said earlier, we will give time after the national anthem for everyone to come around and pay his or her last respect. Your Excellency, sir, at this point, permit me to invite the Chief of Defense Staff. Uh, please, let's clear the podium. Let's clear the... Cameras, cameramen, leave that place. Go back to your original place. May I at this point most respectfully invite the Chief of Defense Staff in the person of General L.E.O. Irabo to deliver his remarks. The Chief of Defense Staff, sir. Excellency, Mr. President, Your Excellency, Mr. President, Commander in Chief, here ably represented by the Honorable Minister of Defense, Your Excellency. Senate President, may I crave your indulgence to honor and respect the well-established protocol. My remarks have titled, Love for Country. It is deeply saddening that I have to give these remarks on this occasion. Why are we here? Love for country. 
How did we get here? Love for country. What is the purpose of the oath of allegiance? Love for country. Yesterday, 21st day of May 2021, was a very sad day for the armed forces. It was a sad day for the nation as I received with shock and utter dismay the gloomy news of the sudden demise of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and 10 other of our very gallant officers and personnel. The loss of our gallant, ebullient, energetic but calm Chief of Army Staff and other heroes of patriotic zeal and love for country is painful but certainly not in vain. Today, the recruits of Deport Nigerian Army were to be on personal parade to herald their joining the workforce of the armed forces of Nigeria. The chief of army staff was to be the special guest of honor at the event. One of, our, one of our finest and best pilots was conveying him along with the entourage. After landing at Kadana International Airport, the cold hands of death, which manifested in the stormy weather, ended that journey. The sting of death, you have not stopped the fight against all forms of insecurity. As we mourn, I remember with a deep sense of pride the life and times of an accomplished general, a reliable professional and a dependable colleague. It is, with human, it is human for me to recall, and with a sense of loss, my personal experience with him at the Nigerian Army Training and Doctrine Command. At the Training and Doctrine Command, Nigerian Army, that was where I fondly called him my second in command. And together, we shared thoughts on moving the armed forces, as well as Nigerian Army in particular, forward. This was actually what we were doing on the day that Ibrahim and I were called by the Honorable Minister of Defense to report to Abuja. These were moments I will forever cherish. He had a distinguished career and the unique privilege of commanding with distinction along the tactical, operational, and strategic levels of military engagement in the Nigerian Army. These positions afforded him the unique opportunity to express his determination, energy, resourcefulness, professional endowment, and strength of character. Quite significantly, he showed his patriotism and loyalty to the unity, security, stability, and well-being of the nation. He was truly a fine officer and a gentleman. He has left us at a time when he was most needed a time that is now gone forever. Irretrievable and painfully sad. I'd like to assure Ibrahim, as well as other gallant officers, General Kulia, General Lainka, General Abdul Kadri, and the wonderful crew and the aides of this want of love, sirs that your dreams and passion for a better and more professional Nigerian army, and indeed the armed forces will not die with you. I salute you and all other comp compatriots that were on board that E-Fitter Beechcraft aircraft. Therefore, we mourn with all the families of our dearly departed compatriots, the families of Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, Brigadier General O.L. Olayinka, 
Brigadier General A.U. Kulia, Brigadier General I.M. Abdulkari, Major Ellie Hayat, Major Hamza, Flight Lieutenant T.O. Ashani, Flight Lieutenant A.A. Ulufade, Sergeant Umar, Sergeant Adin Shina, and Aircraft, Aircraft Man Oyedepo. We pray that God will give you the strength and fortitude to bear this irreplaceable loss to your families. We and the armed forces will say to you, weep not, as we encourage you that the sacrifices of these our comrades at arms to our, father, our, father, to our fatherland will not be in vain. The spirits of our colleagues truly live on. The armed forces of Nigeria will not leave you alone. The commander-in-chief will not leave you alone. To our fellow Nigerians, the challenges are but for a moment. The armed forces of Nigeria remain undaunted. We are unmovable. The war against insecurity must be won. Truly must be won. All we ask of you is to keep praying for us. Remember the families of our fallen heroes. Remember, it is love for country. To the able, gallant, and courageous officers and men of the armed forces of Nigeria, as we mourn our colleagues, let us march on in the determination to defend our country against every form of threat. Your spirit is unquenchable. Rise up in strength, rise up in faith. The death of our colleagues is not in vain. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you very much. I invite His Excellency the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, ably represented by the Honorable Minister of Defense, to deliver his special remarks on this day, the 22nd of May, 2021. Your Excellency, sir. Your Excellency, the President of the Senate, Senator Dr. Ahmed Lawal, distinguished senators of the Federal Republic and honorable members of the House of Representatives here present, Your Excellencies, the Executive Governors here present, other members of the judicial arms of government, the secretary to the government of the Federation, Bo uh, Bo Mustafa, the chief of staff to the president, Ambassador Gambari, the chief of staff, General Leke Irabo, the Chief of Naval Staff, the Chief of Air Staff, former service chiefs here present, the Inspector General of Police, and other, <coughs> other paramilitary agencies here present, the principal staff officers from the Defense and Service Headquarters, Your Excellencies, members of Diplomatic Corps, the captains of industries, royal fathers, the president, defense and policy, uh, police officers wives association, Mrs. Victoria Erabo, the national president, Nigerian army officers wives association, 
Mrs. Fati Atahiru, and other national presidents of the sister service associations here present. The spouses of the, and family or members of the deceased senior officers, senior non-commissioned officers, and the airmen. Senior officers, both serving and retired, distinguished invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commander-in-Chief, I wish to extend his great displeasure or oh, the sadness of today solemn event. I read his message. Today is indeed a sad and trying period for the members of the armed forces and our dear country. A period that witnessed the deaths of 11 brave, dedicated, and committed officers and men of the armed forces of Nigeria in an ill-fated air crash on 21st May 2020 in Kaduna. Indeed, these were absolute gentlemen and were one of the most respected and disciplined officers of men who sacrificed their lives in the service of our dear nation that will never be forgotten. These fine gentlemen had a glorious career in the armed forces in the course of which they served the nation gallantly in several capacities. The late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru was an icon of professionalism, bravery, and discipline. And he aptly demonstrated this attribute throughout his national and international military assignment, which culminated to being the Chief of Army Staff today. The late Chief of Army Staff inspired courage and confidence in the Nigerian Army which informed the successes recorded during his watch. He led the Nigerian army from the front and was a source of inspiration worthy of emulation by all officers and men of the armed forces of Nigeria. He will always be remembered for his dedication, commitment as a military officer, and his new, numerous landmark contribution to the Nigerian unity, peace, and security. He will, be, he will be indeed missed, especially in the trying times of our nationhood. Brigadier General O.L. Olayenka was the provost marshal of the Nigerian Army. Brigadier General Abdurrahman Kulia was the Chief of Military Intelligence. And Brigadier General M.I. Abdulkadir is the Chief of Staff to the late Chief of Army Staff. These were among the finest senior officers in the Nigerian Army. These gentlemen were committed to the duties professionally and contributed immensely to the successes achieved by the armed forces in recent time they will surely be missed. Major L.A. Hayat and Hamza, as well as Flight Lieutenants T.O. Asanyi and the A.A. Olufade, were among the most promising officers in the armed forces. They were focused, courageous, and devoted to the discharge of their responsibilities. Sergeant Umar Adeshina, an aircraft man, and aircraftman Ayedepo were equally dedicated soldiers who were committed to the service of our fatherland. Their contributions and sacrifices to the nationhood cannot be forgotten and will continue to linger in the hearts and the arch 
in the history books of Nigeria. This irreparable loss is, is, is indeed a tragedy to our dear nation. Our dear country has no doubt lost the true rare gems of officers and men. We must therefore do all that we can to honor them even in death by holding the virtues which they firmly demonstrated during the course of their career. They were widely known for their uncommon loyalty to this country, a virtue which Nigeria demands from all of us at this crit critical period of nationhood. On this note, I wish to express my heartfelt felt condolences to all the, the bereaved families, the federal government, and the good people of Nigeria for this loss. I pray for the repose of the de departed, as well as peace and comfort for, your, for you and your loved ones at this difficult time. We love them all. We love them dearly, but God Almighty loves them most. May their gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. At this point, we are about to round up the ceremony, and it is my singular honor and privilege to request the company of the Chief of Policy and Plans Army once again to come forward and appreciate Your Excellencies and all the invited guests that grace this occasion. May I respectfully invite the Chief of Policy and Plans to please deliver the vote of thanks on our behalf, the COPP, sir. Your Excellency, Mr. President, all protocols duly and respectfully observed. It's with a very heavy heart that I stand before you this evening to speak on behalf of the entire community of the armed forces by way of saying thank you. I want to start by thanking the Almighty God for making us see this day, for bringing everybody from wherever we came from, very far and wide, and I also pray that God takes us back to our various destinations. I want to thank Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief, for all the support he has been giving to, especially the Nigerian Army. And I also want to thank every member of government for their support and dedication to trying to see that the security issues in this country are properly handled. On this note, I want to wish everybody Johnny Messi's as we return back to our various destination. Thank you and God bless. Thank you very much, the Chief of Policy and Plans Army. At this moment, I must say that it is indeed a sunset for the 21st Chief of Army Staff, the generals, and unfortunately, the generals not to be. Their legacy live on. God be with you till we meet to part no more. May I respectfully request we rise for the national anthem.
Thank you very much once again. And I wish you safe journey back to your respective destinations. Uh, once again, I am Colonel Nasruddin Imran Abdullahi. Wishing you all safe journey back. You've Thank you and God bless. You've been watching the broadcast of the internment ceremony of the former chief, the late chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru and 10 others lives on the 21st of May. We'll now return you to Lagos for our regular programming. Yeah. 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 Yeah.